So today we're going to be making this simple stylized potted plant. So to do this we're going to need to enable the extra meshes add-on of the edit preferences and then we're going to delete everything in our viewport and add in a single vert. We're going to move to a side view and then we're going to press E to extrude. I'm going to start extruding that along our axes. And the goal here is to kind of make that basic outline of what a plant pot might look like. So something like that is great. Uh, and then we're going to add in a screw modifier to that. We've got the basic shape of our plant. Uh, we'll add an in some steps there to make it more round and just make sure we check that merge button so we don't get a hole in the bottom of our pot. Although for some of our pots you might actually want that. Depends what you're going for. Uh, we're also going to add in solidify and just give that a little bit of thickness to thicken out our plant pot. There we go, that's basically our plant pot done already. From there then we are going to apply our modifiers and shade our pot smooth. There we go, that's looking pretty good already. So then over in edit mode we need to add some dirt into our pot. So control R to add a loop cut. And we'll add that loop in and then press F to fill it. And there you go, we've filled our plant pot with dirt. Quite simple. Um, so now we'll give it a bit of material to make it look the part. Um, and we are going to basically, we just change our range of settings first. We'll change that to cycles, GPU, max samples. We're going to drop that down, turn on denoise, change the samples for our render. Just so we don't forget when we come to this later on. Uh, and then we'll head back to our materials. So we'll have a look at this change this color to kind of terracotta pot color something like that uh, we'll add some roughness there we go and if we head into edit mode and grab this face uh, we need to add a new material for that and we'll give this a nice dark kind of dirt brown sort of color um, somewhere around here possibly a bit darker here we go, make that extra rough and click a sign. That'll put it just on that one face. Um, and there we go. So next we need to add our plant. So we're going to shift S and cursor to active, which moves our cursor to the tip of this plant pot, which is where we're going to want our kind of leaves to start from. Um, and then we are going to hide our plant pot and we are going to add in a plane. Now, in edit mode, we are going to basically start grabbing these and extruding these edges to make the kind of basic outline of the shape of a leaf. So we'll extrude that and scale it. And then again, we'll extrude that. We will extrude that and then scale it again. And then the same thing on the other side. Just E to extrude, along the Y axis, S to scale, until we've got a kind of basic outline of the shape of a leaf. There we go, something like that is absolutely perfect. So now we want to add a stem to it as well. So Control R to add a loop cut across the middle, right click to cancel that to leave it in the center. And then we're going to hit E to extrude and Z to extrude up the Z axis to thicken it out. Then we're going to grab these middle edges, just these three there in edge select, and we're going to control B to bevel that outwards, just like that. And then again, we're going to grab the middle edges and we're going to grab them and move them on the Z axis. I just turn off proportional selecting with O. Yeah, there we go. Scale that down. Perfect. We've got a kind of basic outline of our leaf looking good. Uh, we'll just adjust, adjust kind of the dip that we're going for there. That looks pretty good to me. Lovely. So then from a side view, what we're going to do is turn on our see through option and we're going to start to grab these we're going to start to grab these kind of sections um, and then just hit G with O selected for our proportional and just kind of bend that gently and turn it into the kind of shape of a like a drooping sort of leaf 
There we go, something like that. That looks great. Lovely. And we're going to add a subdivision surface to that. And we're also going to shade that smooth. There we go, we've got our basic leaf done. So with this one leaf, we're going to make our, our whole plant. So we'll, we'll just rename that, go back to our plant pot. And what we're going to do is move this and kind of scale it and rotate it to where we want it um, away from that world origin. So we move that up there and yeah, let's sort of scale that, position it so it looks good. We're going to hit period and select 3D cursor to change the pivot point. And we're going to hit Alt D to duplicate, R and Z to rotate, and then Shift R to repeat that and make our whole plant. With one of these selected then, we'll hit Alt D again and position it just towards the center of the plant pot a little bit more to make our second layer. Uh, so we'll change the rotation. Maybe we'll play with the scale a little bit. Uh, actually we'll keep that size and we'll position it just kind of off center compared to the in, the outer ones and rotate it as well uh, just so we've got a bit of variation there in the different layers we'll position that so that it's just kind of still in the plant pot but peeking over the top of the others there we go something like that and then exactly the same process we are going to Alt D to duplicate, R to rotate around the Z axis, and then Shift R to repeat the same action. And we've got a whole nother layer. Same thing for the middle layer then. We'll hit Alt D to duplicate, and we will reposition this to make it a little bit close to the center again. And we might play with the rotation a little bit on the Z axis. We might play with the scale a little bit as well. Make that a little bit smaller in the center. Maybe rotate it up towards the middle. Uh, looks pretty good. And then exactly the same process then. Once we've decided where we want to put this. Looks fine to me. Uh, we are going to hit Alt D. And R to rotate around the Z axis like that and then shift R to repeat the last action again and we've got our central layer and there we go that's most of our plant done but right now it is pretty uniform across the board so what we're going to do to fix that is grab these leaves double tap R and you can kind of rotate them around their own pivot point uh, and we're just going to give some variation into these leaves then we'll kind of work our way through play with it have some fun with it just give it that little bit of randomness that makes it look a little bit more real and convincing to the brain. The last thing we need to do then is our material for our leaves. We'll add a new one, give it a nice green color, make that a little bit darker and play with our color until we've got something we like. We'll give it a little bit less roughness to give those leaves that nice shine. And that is our plant done. I'd love to hear your feedback on this one and let me know what you'd like to see next.